Good morning. Thank you for joining us here today. Um, we are so pleased to see so many of you in attendance. Um, since its inception in 1984, the foundation, the Allen County Public Library Foundation, has worked to provide critical, private, philanthropic support for our fine library. The foundation's official mission is to enhance the margin of excellence. Think about that, enhance the margin of excellence. That has made the Allen County Public Library preeminent in the state and nation by raising funds for acquisitions, innovation, and special projects. And you're looking at one of the special projects that they have funded today. So we welcome you. Um, that would be outside of our normal operating budget. <coughs> so we are pleased and appreciative of the work of the foundation. And I'm not gonna talk long because really our expert is Kurt Witcher. So I wanna turn this podium over to Kurt. Well, good morning and welcome again. I, I join my welcome with uh, Greta's welcome. This is really an exciting time for, I think, the library and certainly for the Genealogy Center, and I appreciate all of you coming to share our excitement. Many of us know, and we've repeated a few times in our lives, that really, if you think about it, the only constant in life is change. And so it's exciting that we can stand in an area that was an exciting hotbed of 20th century activity. And we saw that wane over the waning years of the 20th century and repurpose it into a flexible, engaging 21st century activity. So it's really neat when we can make space conform to what our customers are expecting from us. We're truly uh, blessed with some awesome leadership that made this happen. Not many projects have not one, but two directors and an awesome library board of trustees that made it happen. So I do wanna recognize Jeff Kroll, our retired director. He had the vision to let the discovery go forward. And without that, um, might have been a little longer. Uh, we have Greta, who has just amazing management and people skills and is able to put a team together to make things happen. And she put teams, plural, together to make this happen. And, oh, by the way, she was the one that said yes. <laughs> for the record. For the record, for the record. Uh, and, and then thanks to, uh, most especially to the Allen County Public Library Foundation, what an awesome group of individuals who have amazing expertise in stewarding funds, donations, that really make the library a special place. Not only do they steward these funds, but they're active in supporting library activities. And again, this would not happen without the Allen County Public Library Foundation. It's neat to be in a space that is so engaging and has so much potential, and to be able to report to the taxpayers that no, this didn't draw on any tax dollars. Uh, that's kind of, kind of exciting. So you might say, why this space? This would be a great closet. This would be maybe the second floor of Dunkin' Donuts. Like, why this space? So the people who are in the know, the marketing people in the genealogy space, say somewhere between 50 and 80 million people a week do something online genealogy-wise. That's a lot of peeps. And these people who are doing things online, they're looking for two major things that our library really has focused on for generations, and certainly the Genealogy Center continues to morph to focus on these two things, and they're really simple. Enjoyment and success. So why this space? We wanted a space where people who are interested in family history and story and their personal histories, community histories, to come and collaborate, learn, share, enjoy. So, why do we call it Discovery Center? Why not classroom? Why not meeting space? We're gonna do both those things. We're gonna have classes and presentations here and it will be an awesome meeting space. But it's so much more than that. I don't know about all of you, but the word classroom, does that like bring up wonderful, happy images and great times and 
wonderful enjoyment. I, I don't know, and maybe I'm just showing my age, but classroom, you know, conjures up nuns with rulers on your knuckles, assignments that you didn't appreciate, tests that were too long and arduous. But we are gonna have learning experiences here, but we want them to be engaging 21st century learning experiences. And in addition to that, it's really flexible space. We weren't a little tipsy or unattuned to details when we set this room up today. We have classroom style, we have theater style, and we have sort of shared space collaboration style in the back. And that's just three of many dozens of set possibilities for this room. We don't have things screwed to the floor, nailed to the floor, so it's really amazing flexible space. So people can green screen themselves into their ancestral hometown in this space. We can offer instructional and collaborative activities in this space. If you say, who in the world would want to green screen themselves into their ancestral hometown? We had a little activity last summer and we thought only kids would do that. We had like people like me who were like interested in, hey, can I, can I put myself in front of that Irish castle? So there's all kinds of great learning opportunities and it tends, tends to mold real well with that enjoyment and success. So the, the, the room provides just an amazing, I think an amazing amount of really, really good space uh, for sharing. It's a place where younger people can enjoy and explore family history through games. Many people tell us we don't spend enough time doing the informal learning, the informal activities. Um, what a wonderful space to do that. We also have some amazing technology. It's not the little dance pinball spinning on the top of the ceiling kind of technology, but technology that really supports all kinds of smart learning and all kinds of smart devices. So as you came in today, we still have a video playing on one side. We have our document camera projecting an image on another side, and this can actually become an interactive tool as you can write and draw and do other things with this document camera. And I think it would be time for us to take down the document camera image and bring up the image that's on this particular laptop right here. All kinds of flexible presentations. There are five more inputs, information inputs, that we will shortly be able to manage right from this podium. So great technology, great learning experiences. So it's, a, it's an awesome day to have this Discovery Center launch and, and, and to have you here sharing um, our, our joy. As many of you came into the department today, into the Genealogy Center, you likely walked through our main entrance. I know some of the foundation trustees walked around the administrative entrance. But as you leave today, if you walk out our main entrance, you will encounter the second newly renovated space called our Life Story Center. And we're really excited about that one as well. A much smaller space, and we'll be doing some life stories activities in this room. But our Life Story Center is about encouraging people to tell their story. We have kind of a brand, an official brand that we've started. Your story, our history, told by you. There are so many rich stories in this community. The power of story is amazing. It's one of the best learning tools. Less than an hour ago, I got an email, as many of you may have got from my LinkedIn friends, and what's the thing they're pushing less than an hour ago? Here's all the famous people, Barack Obama, Oprah Winfrey. What are they doing? They're telling a story about how they launched their career. And you see story everywhere. What we in the Genealogy Center know from helping people do family history, helping people enjoy and explore, what is family history really? It's finding our stories, finding the stories of our ancestors and their ancestors and the places where they lived. The power of story is amazing. And the education arena, they've been talking for years about students and even people like us, lifelong learners, adults, are more grounded, more accepting, less stressed when they have their story, when they have their story of their family in context. It's just really, really powerful. If we look on the homepage of the Fort Wayne Community Schools, 75 different languages are spoken in the homes of Fort Wayne Community School children. That tells me what we already know. What a rich and diverse community. There are tens of thousands of stories to be told. 
And through the generosity of the foundation and our team here at the library, uh, we've crafted a place where people can tell their stories comfortably and also people can get mentored to be good interviewers, to encourage other story. So as I mentioned a few moments ago, we're gonna have story activities happening in here, but our Life Story Center is where comfortably set up you can actually tell your life story or help someone else tell their life story. And we're also gonna be mentoring people to be good interviewers. Most of us who know individuals have an affinity for them and the interview comes somewhat comfortably and casually. But we're looking to really invite the entire community to tell their story. I haven't said this before, so Greta may want to talk with me later this afternoon. My staff may commit mutiny later on today. But I'm looking at this Life Story Center as the beginning of a forever place where people can tell their story. This is nice. We like to hear what the rich and the famous and the popular and the, even the infamous do. But we so passionately believe that life is lived in the small places. So your story and my story and your story, those are all awesome and really important. And they are what make the fabric and the picture of the community. So we will be trying to include tens of thousands of people over the weeks, months, years ahead. And I do believe it will be a forever Life Story Center. That's the conclusion of my remarks. Um, I think Greta may have a few more words to say. I am around after our little event here. If you have questions that you'd like to ask, uh, my staff and I are available to take people on tours and to discuss things more, um, more in depth. I know that our trustees are in the middle of one of their uh, really important meetings this year, so I don't want to interfere with that. But thanks so much for showing up today, and thanks to, to the library's leadership team and to the Allen County Public Library Foundation for the awesome support for something I think that's going to just be woven right into this community in such a beautiful way. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm. Really, what could I say that would top that? I mean, Kurt says it all, and that we're grateful for that. Um, as we are grateful for the support from the Library Foundation and for all the people who make that support happen. We appreciate it. Um, this, these spaces give us many more opportunities to sort of unveil and roll forward new programmatic activities that we believe will benefit the community. And that's what really the library is all about, benefiting the community. So we thank you for joining us today. Feel free to take your time, tour, talk with Kurt. And unfortunately, I need to go back to another meeting. So thank you for joining us. Welcome to the Life Story Center here at the Genealogy Center. Um, we have recorders here to help capture people's life stories. And that could be everyday life, it could be a veteran's life, it could be a housewife's life, it could be anybody. We're looking for everyday stories. Um, people can come in and use this wonderful room and sit down and have um, this recorder and sit down and have your life story taken and preserved for a lifetime.